Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. I'm here to talk about this tree because it was one of the things that I had to do to cure my electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And this tree used to look like that one. It used to be very tall, a very large tree canopy. And the reason why I cut it down is because trees act as antenna systems and they can both transmit energy and receive energy. And the top of this tree, when it was huge like that one, was in an 800 millivolts per meter radio wave field. And the bottom of the tree is an electrified ground, so the electrical utility company is electrifying the garden that the tree is planted into with stray voltage. And a combination appeared to make this tree become extremely biologically toxic to anybody and anything that was near to it. So one of the things that's happened since I cut this tree down is that one of my plant experiments from a different experiment has shown extensive growth changes. So here we are. There's the tree out there. And here's the plant. So you'll notice that there's actually two plants down here. The one on the left is from last year and the one on the right is this year's experiment and they're grounded to the floor. And this one has reverted into its normal growth pattern. It was showing extensive deformity earlier this year. And then as I cut the tree down, the growth returned to its normal patterns in this plant. I was quite shocked. You can see how it was growing before I cut the tree down. So you can see that it had extensive deformity and the classic shiny leaves that you get with radio frequency exposure. And it's lost all of its patterning. So these are Dikembachias. And this is the one from last year. It's got a little bit of patterning in it, not much. And some of the leaves don't have any patterning in it at all. And have the shiny leaf effect. But this one appeared to not have gone far enough down the deformity route to not be able to recover. It's actually recovered from the extensive deformity it was showing earlier this year. So there's something about cutting that tree down that has greatly changed the growth rate in this plant. And I would not have believed it had I not seen it. So that was one of the interesting effects that occurred with cutting the tree down. So it matches what I found was that this tree was affecting human health of anybody who slept in this room. And by cutting it down, actually significantly changed the electromagnetic environment. And the plant is proof of that. So you can actually see that it's very, very different from where it was earlier this year. So this plant actually tells me that everything that I was doing was actually the right thing. And it was the right thing to cut the tree down to stop the electromagnetic fields. And I thought it was very interesting. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.